All right, Roughnecks. It's been a while since I have done one of these touring the Avenger videos. So again, this is not going to have any combat in this video. I'm just going to show you around the Avenger, show you the kind of the current state of things. Uh, we are a ways into the game now. Um, after uh, after a few big missions and I'm just gonna show you sort of what's going on let's go to the world first so you can sort of get a picture of where things currently are so we are currently down here in South America but we have expanded our network quite a bit so North America is completely contacted here is our mission that we're getting ready to go on and resolve um, we have a spy ring there, which increases intel rewards, which is awesome. There's where the black market is located again. Uh, we have made contact with all of Europe, which gives us bonus power to the, uh, the Avenger. Now again, in your game, if you're playing this, it may be completely different what these bonuses are. It may be completely different what the links are. Uh, we have traveled over here to New India and destroyed the, uh, the Avatar facility that was there. Uh, and there is a new one that has cropped up down here in Indonesia, which I have not made contact with yet. And that's the extent of the world that I have managed to make contact with. Resistance Cells in India is about the furthest I've gone. I am going to, very soon, need to make contact with West Africa, because there is this facility here that is a story-critical mission that I need to complete to move the plot along. So that would be this Complete the Black Sile black site vial coordinates mission um, so this is kind of my current state I've mopped up a lot of I'm also in the process I got interrupted I was in the process of making contact with New Australia um, but have not been able to finish making contact there yet so the only real like bonus thing going on right now is this uh, the supply drop that I'm in the middle of trying to complete always need more supplies. Always, always, always need more supplies. There's never enough. So let's pull out of the map. And um, we're just going to waste a minute playing around the... Um, I'll tell you what, I'll do the, the wasting time stuff at the end of the video. For the people who want to see who's hanging out where and what's going on, wait till the end of the video. I'll stick to actual like content for the first part here. Let's check on my current status of my, my The team. aliens have always been monsters. From the very beginning, it was one failed science experiment after another. Right. Even with the advent forces, they tried to disguise it, but they're no different underneath all that armor. And now it comes to this, an entire facility dedicated to wiping us out. And not just that, but turning us into what? Some kind of concentrate they're using for God knows. We should have known the Elders would return. We should have known they never left. There we go, Bradford's getting moody. Okay, so let's check out the team right now. As you can see, uh, built up our numbers. Uh, we just, on the previous mission, just lost Les Jones, which sucked. Um, he was building up to be my backup. Backup medic. And killed a lot of stuff. Alright, so here we go. Brian, Colonel Brian Bac Bacchus Jackie, with this pretty awesome set of abilities right here that enables him to move around, uh, just be a ghost, and level things with his shotgun. He's very dangerous. Um... Next up, Brian Harris, currently injured and uh, a little shaken. Uh, my long-range expert, just murder. He's got the most kills of anyone right now. 17 missions, 42 kills. 16 missions, 37 for Jackie. I think they're my two highest kill counts. Um, a great set of abilities right here. I really like this particular build-out. Um, on top of that, he has a scoped Gauss rifle with quick-loaded um, weapons on there. Steven Schaffner, up to Major now. Uh, he is, I've gone the other way with the um, the Ranger class with him, focusing on the non-stealth abilities. And he just, he just likes to get close to things and kill them. That's what he likes to do. He also spends a lot of time in that exosuit. I, uh, I like having Schaffner in that exosuit. It seems to work out well for him. Uh, he has his own gun called Beatstick. Oh yeah, so uh, none such as gun is named Cravat. Uh, Brian's gun right now is Avalanche. There, 
So he has bead stick, which has what's his current what's his current stuff on it? He's got a laser sight and an expanded magazine. There we go. Mary Kay, Bianca Simone, up to Captain. Um, I'll be honest, I'm still figuring out the the Grenadier class, trying to figure out exactly how to build them. I feel like she's kind of scattered in her abilities, but she works out great. She's a I'm, I don't have a problem with this set of abilities. I rarely use this suppression, though. I probably need to use it more often. Uh, I've taken a couple of risky chain shots with her to try out that ability, when I probably should have just suppressed them. Heavy Ordnance is fabulous. You're just not going to hear me anything, say anything bad about Heavy Ordnance. Shredder is also awesome. Um, and her weapon... It's Cadillac. It's just got a stock on it right now, so she does damage even if she misses. Need to get her another weapon upgrade. What her? What's her options. Got another advanced auto loader available. I like that on pretty much any weapon. All right, Clark Lone Star Moss, uh, my other my other high-ranking heavy. Um, Blast padding is a great ability. Uh, that's that's one I'm going to have a hard time passing up from here on out. I've made some use of Demolition. Volatile Mix and Heavy Ordnance is just incredible. He just blows everything up. What do we get for his weapon? Oh, he's got his new mag cannon. This is just a regular mag cannon. He must have had his gun. Yeah, I think he had his gun on loan to someone else for the last mission. So He needs to get Old Faithful back. That's his gun. Josh Roshar Wagner. It, I apologize for how long it has taken me to remember your character name uh, from the LARP that we played in together, Josh. So you are no longer called Ogre Mage. You are now called Roshar, as you should be. And there you are. He has been he's been essential to my overall strategy. Once he got this combination of medic abilities uh, mixed in with Haywire Protocol, I I like this build out a lot for a uh, support based uh, a support based uh, specialist and I've given him one of my few sims that I've gotten to give him bonus hit points so that he doesn't get killed and not be able to heal people um, he does a lot of cool stuff for the squad his weapon is flame bolt which has a repeater on it which has actually pulled off a couple of executions which is great and a hair trigger which has not come into play, I don't think ever. I don't think I've ever gotten the 5% on his hair trigger. But just a basic upgrade. Um, sharp shot. Uh, Grace Sharp. Um, she's. I've been building her up. I've had to start her from a rookie, and I'm building her up as my gunslinger, and I love this gunslinger build. She has a plus 13 aim sim built in. Uh, improving her aim so that I can give her different upgrades on her weapon. She doesn't need a scope. Um, and of course, she has her built-in squad sight. She's got retiring fire. If you shoot at her, she shoots at you with her pistol. Lightning hands. She can take a free shot with her pistol. Quick draw. She can shoot her pistol and still take another action in the turn. Um, I'm really interested to see how this build-out goes. I think she's really cool. Uh, her weapon is longbow. Has an advanced auto loader for free reloads to set up even more actions per turn for her, and a superior hair trigger. 15% chance that when she fires it, it will not use an action, uh, setting up even more actions for her. She has the potential to really go crazy with a lot of shots in a turn. Uh, I really like this current build out. I haven't gotten to really max it out yet, so we'll see what she can do. Uh, Carrie Silk Lynn, I hired her directly in, she came from the black market and has just been a huge boon. She's the only person so far who has gotten any of the advanced warfare center abilities. She has phantom, so when everybody else gets revealed, she stays hidden. So her and Brian Jackie tend to act as my scouts using the phantom ability, which I love. Uh, I think it's great. Um, she, her aid protocol has this threat assessment, which can, puts people on overwatch, uh, even if someone shoots at them this overwatch, which works great. Um, she just got a boost to her hacking uh, on the very last, I think the very last mission, she just got a boost to her hacking, so both her and Josh have gotten hacking upgrades. Um, just a really cool character, and plus she has Jax, you know, like, rotator. Jack from Mass Effect's uh, head tattoos there. 
This is actually Jack's hairstyle from Mass Effect 3. I don't know if Carrie is a Mass Effect player. I'm guessing she is, but I thought she would appreciate it. So, uh, her weapon is named Bitch, Bitch Slap. It's got a laser sight and a stock on it. And um, she makes use of both of those. I like Bitch Slap. It's a good gun. It's got smiley faces all over it. Woody Jeopardy Zorn. Okay, let's fi um, need to fix the spelling on that. I turned into an idiot when I spoke root Jeopardy. Let me uh, just correct that really quick, because that's driving me crazy. Oh, it won't let me. That's why I haven't fixed it, because he's not high enough rank yet. It won't let me correct the misspelling that I made when I, when I did it. So I need to get him up to Sergeant so I can correct the misspelling on his name. Just got blast padding so far. He's borrowing Clark Moss's gun right now. Um... So let's take a look at Old Faithful here, just so I can show it off. Uh, an advanced autoloader, there you go, and free reloads, and advanced repeater. I'm trying that out on a uh, big gun. Since they tend to open up, I thought maybe having a uh, higher percent chance to take things out in one hit would be good. Uh, we'll see how it pl plays out. Uh, that's Woody. Uh, looking good. Looking good, Woody. What else we got here? Dave Werewolf Morse. My up-and-coming um, uh, ranger. Just as Phantom right now, I'm sort of building him to be a backup for uh, Brian Jackie when he gets injured. I don't know if he'll have exactly the same build out, but be at least in the ballpark. He has Firefly as his gun, laser sight and a hair trigger. Nothing wrong there. Only been on two missions so far. He did pick up my first uh, melee kill on a Muton, though. So, there we go. Scotty Shinsai Jackson, uh, Johnson, sorry. Uh, breaking in the new Captain Bub's Accessories Pack right here. I hi if, if you're downloading mods, which I recommend for this game, get mods. There's some really good ones out there. Captain Bub's Accessory Pack, I think, is currently the most downloaded one. It's awesome. It adds all this cool new props, new goggles and helmets and hats and berets. Uh, you saw Brian Jackie's beret that came from that pack. A lot of good stuff. Uh, he is another long-range sniper. He's purely a long-range sniper. He doesn't, didn't even pick up lightning hands. Um, and it's been doing fine. Seven kills in two missions. And he requested a flag with a dragon on it. So there you go. He's in a, from Wales. There we go. Scotty and uh, Eric Chain Murder Han. There we go. Just, just recruited. Hasn't been on any missions yet. Um, he, if you notice this uh, weird sort of coloring around him, it's because I was playing around with another mod that I downloaded, which is, let's go away from that, and we will come down here, and bam, look at that, Stormtrooper helmet, how awesome is that, and that, uh, that black makeup on his face is just so that it does, you don't see the white neck, so he looks more like a Stormtrooper. And we have Stormtrooper helmets. We have Scout Trooper helmets, First Order, Mandalorians. Holy cow, they've added more. They just keep adding more to it. Clone Troopers, TIE Fighter helmet. Oh, I love it. I love that. Oh, Eric here, you can wear that for a bit. That looks so freaking cool. We're going to come back. Armor color. Let's not quite too dark. Too dark. Yeah, we'll figure one out here in a minute. Yeah, sure. We'll just go for a straight up TIE fighter pilot there. And uh, what color? Uh, I don't like that. Looking awesome, Eric. All right. He also looked awesome with that red headband. And all right, Kyle Tyron Radcliffe also recently recruited, still a rookie. These guys are rookies because, as I am coming out of here, why have I not sent them to the gorilla chamber to uh, be trained up as a class? It's because I'm building a Scilab. 
once the Psy Lab is built, I think one or possibly both of them will become my first psychic troops. So that's the plan there. Here's the current layout of the Avenger. Uh, Guerrilla Tactics School top Shen left. Shen managed to pull a set of Come encoded on, coordinates from the vial we recovered at the alien black site. And it looks like we're headed towards another as of yet unidentified facility. There are a bunch of theories floating around as to what we'll find. But at this point, I'm not ready to commit to anything until I see for myself. All right. Power relay right here. Uh, I have upgraded that to have an Illyrium chamber in it, so it produces even more power. Um, there you go, that's what that little device there is. Resistance comms on the top right. Uh, who have we got working in there right now? There's Brett Soul, and my original engineer, Liang Wu, is in there helping Brett run, on that, run the comms, keeping in touch with the resistance. Uh, down here in the center is my workshop. And that is now currently staffed by Chris Smith Sud and Joe Carr, who are both over here. And what they do is each of them provides two gremlins, so that I end up the two of them produce four engineers. The two two of the gremlins go up here to the power relay to run it. Another one comes over here to the proving ground. Another one comes to the advanced warfare center, and they act as engineers in all of those facilities. So. Chris and Joe coordinate all three of these facilities from this central headquarters. So they're running the AWC, the Proving Ground, and the Power Relay. I've read some arguments about the workshops, saying people don't like them, saying they're not cost efficient. Uh, I'll let other people argue about that. I'm liking this setup right now. So Proving Ground over here, currently building a plasma grenade. And over here is my Advanced Warfare Center, who's laid up right now. Uh, that's none such. None such is laid up right now. Not much else going on. Being taken care of remotely by uh, Dr. Mifsud here in the workshop. This is my defense matrix, which I am super happy I built. It is generally just going to sit here and not be very useful, but man, if you start getting those aliens, uh, UFOs hunting you, that defense matrix saved my ass during the. Uh, the Avenger attack mission. So I'm sure there's discussions about how useful it is to have, but man, did it save my ass. All right, uh, Shadow Chamber. In here, we've got Tygen and Shen working on decrypting the Codex brain. And this is the chamber you're going to build to move the plot along. So you have to build in there to research the stuff to open up the plot critical missions. So that's what's going on with actual game stuff. We're uh, excavating down here? I don't know, I'm not sure with this one. I, I guess this counts as an excavation. They are shielding the power coil. I'm hoping that means that when this gets excavated, I will A, also be able to build a room there and possibly get a little bonus power because I have just about tapped out my power generation and I'd rather not build another whole power generation room that I might end up having to. Okay, so that's all that. Let's uh, so now let's play around and see what people are up to. Who's hanging out on the bridge right now? Uh, da, 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 who is that? Oh, it's Bradford. And I can't tell who that is from the back. That might just be a mook. I don't know. Not sure what. Who are my engineers right now? Engineers are who you tend to see hanging around places. Is in the army. Simone is over checking out things in the armory. Looks like she's by herself. She's just keeping keeping the guns oiled. And the living quarters is hanging out together. There's Eric Hahn and Scotty Johnson. Okay. I think you guys would get along if you met in real life. Good fellas. Probably talking about makeup. I like it on my eyes. I just smear it all around my head so I look more like a stormtrooper. That's what I do. Alright, and over to the bar. Oh, bar's crowded right now. Okay, we've got Kyle Radcliffe tending bar. Clark Moss taking a drink. Somebody back here in the back. I think that's Dave Morse. Dave Morse hanging out in the back. And we've got... Not sure who's talking to Carrie over here. Some people they get used to them and with all their props on, and they take them off when they're 
in the Avenger, and it's hard to tell who is who. Alright, Fallen Soldiers. Here's everybody we've lost. Recently lost Les Jones. That sucked. That's about it for people that we have lost. I think since the last time I did one of these Avenger update videos, I think Les is the only person I've lost since then. Um, bam. There he is. 81 days on the Avenger. Taken out by a heavy mech. Sucked. Attacks. Three missions, six kills. Average two kills a mission. Not at all a bad record. Sorry to see you go, Les. Alright. And I think that's about it for the Avenger right now. That's my Avenger update. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and we will get back to the action. Bye.